Hello friends, welcome to Programming Concepts. My name is Amit and this is part 59 of ASP.NET Core MVC tutorial. In this video, we will learn how to process server hosting in .NET Core MVC and we will implement it practically. In our previous videos, we already covered concepts like web server, Kestrel, ANCM and the basics of in-process and out-of-process. All these previous videos are related so requesting you to please watch previous videos as well. I will share the link in the description. This video is all about the implementation of out-of-process server hosting. Let's read the definition first. As per Microsoft, because ASP.NET Core apps run in a process separate from the IIS worker process, the ASP.NET Core modules handle process management. The module starts the process from the ASP.NET Core app when the first request arrives and restart the app if it shuts down or crashes. This is essentially the same behavior as seen with apps that run in process that are managed by Windows Process Activation Service, WAS. The following diagram illustrates the relationship between IIS, the ASP.NET Core module, and an app hosted on out of process. First, the requests arrive from the web to the kernel mode http.sys driver. Then the driver routes the request to the IIS on the website's configured port. The configured port is usually 80 for HTTP or 443 for HTTPS. Then the module forwards the request to Kestrel on a random port for the app. The random port isn't 80 or 443. Focus on the word random port. So once your ASP.NET Core module forward request to a random port for the app, Kestrel picks up the request from the module. The request is then forwarded into the ASP.NET Core middleware pipeline. Here you can see the server uses Kestrel. Did you remember which server is used in case of end process? If you forgot, no issues. The server name in the case of end process is IIS HTTP server. Nothing complex. In case of out of process, there are two processes involved W3WP because we are using IS and .NET.exe because our code is managed and processed by Kestrel. IS here acts as a reverse proxy server. Alright, let's see how to implement out of process. Let's go to Visual Studio. And this is the project which we are working on. Nothing much to do. Just like we had implemented in process, let's open the proj file, project file, and instead of in process, write out of process. Simple, no other modification is required. Just publish your code. So, right click on Solution Explorer, select publish, and click on publish. Publish successfully. Let's go to the browser. Browse this site. Just type localhost because we hosted our application on port 80. So port is not required because this is a default port. See, working as expected. Press F12. Then press F5. Click on localhost. Check for response header. You can see the server is Kestrel instead of IIS. Let's confirm the same via Task Manager. Open Task Manager. Go to Details. Search for .NET.exe. End this process. Search for W3WP. End this process as well. Now if I refresh the browser, our IIS should recreate W3WP as well as .NET.exe. Right? Let's see that. Let's refresh the page. Get back to Task Manager and search for .NET.exe. You can see this process is recreated. Search for W3WP and you can see this process is also recreated by IAS. Right? So we successfully implemented out of process. Just like Task Manager, we have another tool called Process Explorer which gives more details about the processes. 
Let's open that and check the information which we can find around these processes there. So this is the process explorer. Let's open it, run as an administrator. Now search for W3WP. You can check its process ID. It's the same. Moreover, we only have one app pool running, so you can expect this W3WP is for our app pool only, so no need to check at least for now. This process shows the parent child relationship, and this can help you to clear your doubts if any. You can see this .NET.exe is a child of W3WP process. Double click on it or right click and select properties. Now, within image tab, you can see the command line argument. So our W3WP or you can say ASP.NET Core module passes this command line argument. The path is there and our project DLL is there to execute our project via the Castrol server or the .NET.exe. And within parent, you can see its parent is W3WP and you can obviously match its process ID. Simple. So this is another proof that in outer process, we have two processes involved. First is W3WP and the second is .NET.exe. We also discussed that ASP.NET Core module assigns some random ports. Let's confirm that as well. Go to Environment Variable tab and search for ASP.NET Core port. And you can see this is the random port assigned to Castrol or .NET.exe. Let me kill this process. Then let's go to the browser and refresh the page. Get back to Process Explorer. Click on .NET.exe and you can see the port is changed. All right. Simple. Hope this task manager and the process explorer doesn't get too complicated. But if you reach to this point, I believe it will help you to understand the concept of in process and out of process in a better way than if I just say we have two processes, in process and out of process, and close the topic. All right. Hope you like this video. That's it in this video. If you have any queries related to the content of this video, do ask me in the comments. Till then, thanks for watching.